All right, what's going on, guys? It's Thursday afternoon, October the 27th. Um, kind of a breezy day. It's warm, very comfortable, but a little breezy. Um, out here in Hanover, hunting our little suburban spot, Todd and I lease, and I hunted over here about two and a half weeks ago. It was the um, the first video of the season that we put out. It had a lot of activity, a bunch of does walking around. Had a small buck come up in there, but uh, we'll push back in there a little deeper to a stand I call the flamingo stand had a lot of action out of that over the years so I'm gonna go try it out I've got one uh, one nice eight pointer on camera back there last time I checked had a couple daytime pics of him so let's see if he's around this evening and there's got to be plenty of other deer so many does around here I know there's got to be bucks coming through checking so it's gonna be that time of year getting a lot of reports man of Guys seeing big bucks pop up on the camera they hadn't seen all year. Bucks chasing does, bucks being killed on the road. So starting to be that magical time of year, late October, early November. That's what that's what we love to hunt for. So y'all hang with me and get in the action and cut you back on. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. That was a nice buck. Came in straight in front of me. Had a calamity of errors, man. My arrow fell off. My arrow fell off the knock or off my string while I was trying to pull back. I don't know what happened. Luckily, another buck was coming in from behind him that distracted him. While I was able to get the arrow back on there. I'm getting ready to climb down and check now. It sounded like a good hit. I haven't even back looked at the footage, but it sounded good, but he hauled ass out of here. Never heard him crash, but it, it sounded good, so. I'm all shook up, man. Whew. If I if I find that deer, it'll be the biggest bow kill I've ever had, so. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, what's well, Friday? Um, October the 28th here, it's about noon here. Um, so we did not find that buck last night and uh, been trying to get a hold of some tracking dog services in the area and I mean either people can't come or won't call you back or won't answer you back or you know whatever. So um, Todd's getting off work early today. He's gonna hang a stand over here at this property and um, I think my buddy Cullens will come over here and my, our buddy LeVan might come over here and help us too. We're, 
I mean, I reviewed that footage like 50 times last night. It looks like the arrow goes right in his front shoulder, kind of quarter and two, not a great angle. I know it's not a great angle, um, but I still feel like it went in there deep enough and it hit the right spot. I feel like the deer's probably dead. Um, but with the lack of an exit hole, yeah, I don't know how much blood we're gonna find. We, we cut it off after about 50, 75 yards of looking last night. So we're gonna go give it a shot. We'll uh, definitely keep you guys apprised of what's going on and hopefully there's a good outcome. But either way, we'll let you know what happens. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I just wanted to wrap up this video. Um, we looked and looked and looked. We never found the steer. We didn't find but a few more spots of blood. And I mean, that's the story. Looking back on it, I mean, I know the shot angle quarter and two was not the best in the world, but at that distance, I thought it would, I thought it would eat him up pretty good and, and be enough to stop him. But we're not exactly sure, you know, what happened. We found the arrow about 25 yards from the point of impact, and it was covered. I mean, seven, eight inches of blood on the arrow. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't even want to speculate. I mean, worst case scenario, we wounded him and. He's laying dead somewhere. Hopefully the buzzards will tell us that in a few days. Or uh, best case scenario, deflected off the opposite shoulder, bounced back out, didn't really hit anything vital, and he's still still kicking. So that's what I hope. Um, I, I fear the worst. But either way, that's, that's part of hunting. Un unfortunately, it happens, and I'm not going to make any excuses. I, you know, Looking back, I probably wouldn't take that shot again, but also... You know, I wasn't sure if he was gonna give me the broadside shot. He was either gonna walk directly under the stand or if he'd have walked a few more feet to my left, he'd have gone behind some briars and stuff. And I, who knows if I'd have gotten a shot at that point or not. So it is what it is. It's unfortunate, beautiful buck. I'd like to have had my hands on him. It didn't happen, but we're gonna keep hunting. Um, I'm gonna shoot my muzzleloader now. We got black powder season starting next Saturday, so shoot this a couple times hopefully it's still sighted in and uh still got another week of bow hunting left i know i'm gonna get out here a few more times this week and you know hopefully something good happens bucks starting to move the rut's starting to pick up a little bit so got a feeling with all the time that we're gonna be hunting here in the next month we're gonna have some action for you guys so thanks for watching any comments you guys want to leave please do i mean I'd, I'd love to hear the feedback on the shot and what you guys think as well um you know, I'm sure I'm going to get the, the YouTube armchair quarterbacks out there telling me everything I did wrong that, you know, I don't already know I did wrong. So that's all good. You just uh, leave your comments, good, bad, ugly. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.